I would say about six months as well, like the, those other cubs. The Robson cub is also about that size. Yeah. I only see the one who is that one. Wait, wait, those are not now sit where we get. Uh, sorry. How many mums? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's a cub. Sorry. <laughs> so they have to go around here somewhere. Because these... In front of him. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. You're feeling good? Please. You're not scared? No. Small mom, she's Hollywood stock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are the female. See her twitching her ears. Scratch it, okay. You go first, boss. Don't tickle it, stuff. I'll be right behind you. That's how I started the car. <laughs> oh, this is my daughter over there. Yeah, this is my wife. Mm -hmm. Which female to which female? Sorry? Who did? And uh, which females belong to which one? Nah, which everyone's an issue, they'll have a little tough themselves with themselves to find out who's get, who gets to mate with the females. Ah, uh, okay. They shit. Yeah, they shit. Bush and getting so close to them. Mm -hmm. So they're not happy? No, no, no. Ah, okay. They just I thought got they stuck with a frog. No, these guys, they just control the six prides, so they move between whichever one's in estrus. Um, but they make, they do their own killing. Unlike the, the ones you see in East Africa when you see on National Geographic, yeah. because you've got these wide open spaces on the Serengeti and those places, um, the one pride can see the other pride. And as soon as they see the pride, the pride's males are moving off, they'll come in and kill the cubs. So that's why yeah. the, the males stay with the, with the, yeah. with the pride to protect the, the offspring. Um, but yeah, you can see with this thick bush, these lines can be yeah, about 400 meters on, you'll find another, another part of lines. They won't know of each other. So that's why, that's why. It's just females, you never get a mix of them. Yeah. Unless there's a kill, you see, then there's the yeah, mix. Yeah, then the males come in. Yeah. Yeah. They smell the kill and they'll just move in because it's their territory and they'll yeah, take over the kill. There was a giraffe that was taken down in the road one day, full male giraffe. In Kruger. Yeah. It was like, wherever you look, the lines were running in from like miles. I don't, I miles like, coming from in. like a kilometer away, you chest check these little stripes going in. It was unbelievable. We must have sat there for about an hour and my seen it. Yeah, no, but it was so packed 40, with the view. 40 mm. lines. So that was the big downside. Mm. Ah, he knows. Everything was like rotating through and this giraffe was perfectly positioned right in the middle of the road. Yeah. The only snack. Just for me medicine, like yeah, dogs, for, medicinal. Yeah, probably for their stomachs. 
Because I saw the other night as well, they stopped and chewed grass. Mm -hmm. Because it's Jason Franklin will not go to do the line. Do they display like pack symptoms? Now if one goes, do they all go or? Sorry? Um, they're not, not packing animals, right? In the sense that if one spots something and runs, they all go after it. Um, ach, yeah, it just depends. If they're hungry yeah. enough, all of them will jump up and go. Oh, okay. But, um, ach, it all depends on how much they've eaten. If they still think, um, maybe if something just uh, triggers their interest, one of the females, and she'll go off. Um, but if they're, if they're all angry, they're all out to hunt. Okay. But, uh, How many nights were you here? Two nights. We've been two, yeah. Two nights, we are third. We came in a Friday. You've got that in your nose. Are you leaving today? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. No, that's a pretty good two nights and we've seen three of different prizes. Yeah, we really can't complain. Yeah. The only snag is, no. That's probably have killed the Kruger. Because yeah. why do you want to go back there and see something there? through binoculars at 250 <laughs> meters? <laughs> and looking and saying, there they are, you couldn't even see yeah, them. I mean, oh, the Kruger's still left. There was an ugly knob on his nose. Yeah, the jack yeah. But wasn't under the eye? No, it was there. Whenever they finish eating, they go wash themselves. And all the dams and pans, uh, the water just wash themselves. And animals just come to drink water and they'll get infected. Mm -hmm. And they'll start dying off. But there's a reason for that. Because it was so dry, anthrax anti -de lie dormant under the soil. And as soon as it's very dry and there's no grass or no cover, the it gets stirred up by all the animals and then it's Oh, they're shooting the lines um, with the TV and stuff affecting the lines. Uh, although the lion population is going down, the, the wild dog population is picking up. So that's it's a plus point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, less competition. Uh, less competition, uh, which is the wild dogs. So, but now with the lion population going down, the, the wild dog population is picking up. And you'll find as soon as the lion population picks up again, the, the, the wild dogs go down.